Good morning, or afternoon, or evening, right? So welcome to our yoga flow together. This will be an energetic core flow, about 30 or 40 minutes. My name is Michelle, so let's begin. Just sitting crisscross, lengthen your spine, inhale, just looking up. And exhale, and letting now this time, take your arms and raise them up on the inhale, and then exhale, let it go. <sighs> Do that again. Inhale, rising up with those arms, surrendering into love. Exhale, letting it go. <sighs> Today, our theme is hope, finding hope in this time that deeply resonates with us, finding that place surrendering to hope, not letting that fear in, just really latching on to our hope that we have. So coming on to your back, we'll lay it all the way down. And we're going to build some energy here. So we'll inhale, we'll invite our arms up, point your toes, really lengthen your arms and your toes, igniting all the muscles. And then exhale, hugging it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hugging it in. Last one, big inhale. And let it go off the mouth. Exhale. So take a hold of your right knee. Let your left leg go long. Relax your head. Drawing that core strength, and we're just going to do a few bicycles right here. So pulling in that right knee. Exhale and let it go. Inhale, pull in the left. Inhaling and exhaling, finding that nasal breath, that ujjayi breath. Continue a couple more with your leg shift. And now we're going to take our arms and we're going to hold our knees in right here. Take your arms behind our head and we'll find a little core twist bicycle. So connecting right and left, exhaling and inhaling, lengthening, finding about six of these on your own. Just Finding that core strength, going nice and slow, breathing with us. One more each side, connecting opposite, drawing in that core strength. And then let it go, put your hips down, put your feet down, bend your knees up. Now let's take an inhale, lifting your hips high to the sky. Feeling that belly tight, the glutes tight, and then letting it go. Gentle tap down. Exhaling and inhaling through that nose. Exhale, bring those hips down. Activating the core of the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads. Inhale, lifting it up. And exhaling, let it go all the way down. Hug your knees in and find a gentle side to side rock. Closing your eyes, softening your jaw, softening your shoulders, resonating with hope and love. This is it. We'll energize our body, activate our core. So find a rock and roll on your spine and draw in that core strength as we rock two more and then finally all the way up right now and coming to our tabletop position. So knees right under hips, and our wrists will be stacked upon elbows, stacked upon shoulders. So finding your look, a gaze out ahead of you. We'll take an inhale, we'll look up, lengthen that tailbone palm. Exhale, closing your eyes, rounding the spine, spreading the shoulder blades, looking down at your knees. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Breathing, softening. Exhale, round it out, looking down towards your knees. Really feel the shoulders spread apart. And then coming to neutral. Take your right leg, send it long. Activate, point and flex, point and flex. And then bring your left and activate that. Really send the long lines of energy right here. 
We're going to take three elbow to knee taps. So we'll exhale, crunch it in, holding, finding that balance in the middle the best we can. So we're exhaling, lengthening, inhale, hold it in. Exhale, lengthen, last one, hugging it in, knee to elbow and then shift it down. Now find a gentle going through child's pose, but rotating your hip from one direction, so the right to the middle to the left, and coming up through the middle, and find that circle on the second side. So the left to the middle, to the right, and then coming up on the tabletop position, find that left leg, send it long. And the right arm coming straight up. Find strong strength and length of energy. Draw in that core. Tighten it. Feel it. Ignite it. Yes. Breathe. And then we'll take our three taps right here. So we'll exhale. Opposite connect. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, opposite connect. Inhale, lengthen. Last one. Exhaling. Inhaling, lengthen. Holding it, letting your hand go, your knee go, and then we'll take that shift again. So left side, feel that to the middle, and then to the right, and then back up. And then we'll go to the right with our circle, right side of that hip, through the middle, and then through to the left. Nice. So coming now on your child's pose. So find your child's pose. And I'm gonna switch directions just a little bit here. You can stay right in place, but put your third eye down, surrendering, letting your elbows sink into the mat. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your jaw, sinking your hips down low. Your knees can be wide, your belly softening and letting it be between those knees. Just breathe. So we'll take one more inhale and exhale through our mouth, and then we'll continue through our ujjayi breath. So big inhale, and then open up your mouth and let it go. <sighs> really surrendering into the mat, softening, resonating with that hope and love. And then we'll come up to our downward facing dog. This will be our first downward facing dog. So coming onto those toes, notice your head right in between those arms, not too loose, but not stiff either, just naturally there. Your hips are high to the sky and we can pedal out our heels and just find a little movement as we find our downward facing dog and breathing in and out through our nose. We're gonna take a little bit of a dance with this. So we're gonna, we're gonna bend our knees and we're gonna kind of shift our hips down and then we'll come up through the middle, inhaling and bend your knees again and find a little shift down to the right side. Inhaling, coming up and then knees will shift, will shift and turn and last side, hips come up, bend your knees and find that last little rotation. Finding that energy, shifting those hips. And we'll take our right leg and we'll just look at our hands and we'll take a step to the front of the mat, followed by the left. And we'll hang heavy in our forward fold, breathing, softening. And then inhale, half lift. Exhale, soften, let it go. Perhaps grab opposite elbows and sway back and forth. Noticing the back hamstring, the tightness. And then we'll just let it go again and we'll sweep the floor, inhaling, rising up. Looking up, gentle back bend, just gentle. Exhale, let your hands come all the way down under your chin, surrendering into that hope that we're feeling. Perhaps setting an intention for your day. And loving yourself, taking care of yourself. Sending that back down, all the way down to the ground. Heavy hang here. Maybe grab your knees, bend them, and hug onto your thighs. And then coming up out of that halfway lift, your hands can be on your knees, your shins. Look up, straight spine. And then exhaling, letting it go. Root down, rising up, all the way up. 
And we'll exhale all the way down, letting our hands go to the mat. And we'll touch down, walk your feet back, finding your first plank pose, drawing that core strength right here. We're maybe rocking back and forth. And then we'll bring our knees down to the mat, and then we'll go down chest, and then belly and chin, come to the mat, inhale, find your baby cobra. And then exhale, let it go. This time, inhale, pushing up into a full cobra, lifting your arms straight, your head up, breathing, softening, shoulders away from your face, and then coming to your knees, and onto your toes, downward facing dog. Pedaling it out, breathing. We'll take another sun salutation right here. So you can, you can float, which is a hop, or you'll walk. That left leg will go first. So you make your way to the front of the mat. I'll sh walk with my left, so I'll take a step with my left, followed by my right, and I'll heavy hang. You can't touch your toes, bend your knees. And then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, sweeping the floor, rising all the way up. Let's take a gentle side bend to the right side. And then inhale, looking up, lengthening those arms. Exhale, side to the left. Inhale, lengthening, exhale, coming through your heart center. All the way down, hands go to the mat, and then we'll walk our feet left and right all the way back. Here we are, back in plank pose. This time we might find a chaturanga going down, kind of like a push-up. We'll go halfway down, or we'll take our knees and then our chest and our chin. I'm going to take that chaturanga, so we'll go halfway down. Heart will come through, and we'll find our upward facing dog. So palms and tops of my feet are on the mat and my shoulders away. And I'm gonna soften my eyes, close them. Breathe. And then roll over those feet. Find your downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Shifting what you need. Maybe you lift one leg and rotate. And set that down and lift the other leg and rotate. You make your way for your body today. So with me here, we're gonna take our first flow. So we'll lift our right leg up high to the sky. And we're gonna take it all the way in between our hands. So maybe one or two steps or set it all the way in between those hands. That right knee and right foot is right by that right hand. And we'll come down on that left knee. Inhale, rising up, crescent warrior. Exhaling, we're going to take our arms, spread them wide, lean forward into this, inhaling, rising up, bringing in the energy, exhaling, leaning forward, shifting your weight forward, inhale, rise up, last one, exhale, leaning forward, inhaling, rising up, nice job, breathing. Now we'll take our left hand, we're going to take it to the ground, right inside that right foot, looking up at the right hand, breathing, and then we'll shift our arm back behind us, finding a shoulder rotation as we exhale and inhale, rising up, exhale, finding it back behind us, inhale, rising up, one more, exhale, finding it back behind us, inhale, rising up. Now we're going to come to a dragonfly twist, the full expression. So curling on the backs of those feet, the toes. We're looking up at the sky, breathing, finding the strength, drawing in that deeper twist. Twisting so good for detoxifying. And then bringing that hand, letting it go, leading it to the inside of that right foot. Bringing that knee back down, and we're gonna find our lizard lunge. So staying right here on your hands, or perhaps you take your hands down, your forearms come on the mat, and you rock on the blade of the foot, and you play with this, a little movement, 
should feel really good as you move around in this lizard lunge. And then pushing back up with the hands, bringing that knee all the way back down. So we're right here. We're gonna stay here on our knees. Lift your feet up and we'll take three chaturanga knees down push-ups. So we'll coming down, exhaling, inhaling, lifting. Exhaling, last one, inhaling, lifting. And then coming back to your toes, pushing to plank pose right here. Hold it, engage the core. Breathe, soften, close your eyes. And then exhale, hips high to the sky. Pedal it out, downward facing dog for our second side. So we'll pick up the left leg, lifting it up high to the sky, and then we'll shift up our weight as we take a couple little hops all the way in between our hands. And we'll notice our foot is right by our left hand, putting that right knee down, inhaling, lifting up, finding this modified press forward, breathing. So invite that energy in as we exhale, leaning it forward, inhaling, exhaling, lunging it forward, inhaling, lengthening, exhaling, lunging it forward, inhaling all the way up, stay right here, breathe, and then coming down to that dragon, fly, twist with your hand right by the left foot and your arm up to the sky and we'll take those shoulder rotations so we'll come up go behind and then inhale reach out in front up to the sky find the circle movement inhaling really reaching all the way around back behind you last one inhale reaching towards the front towards the sky all the way down and then bringing that arm up, inhaling, really twisting, looking at the sky, coming over those toes, straightening that leg, or you stay right on your knee, but look up at the sky as you breathe. Twisting deep, and then bringing that hand down inside the left foot, Placing that knee down, staying right here. That right knee goes down, flat on the top of the foot on the mat. And then play with the lizard lunge. Rolling on the side blade of the foot. Maybe you come down to your forearms and just relax your head, your neck. Soften, breathe. Feel this goodness right here as you move and feel how you want your body, what needs, what do you need with your body? And then pushing up. We'll take a moment in child's pose just to reset for our next flow. So bringing your forehead down, relaxing your arms, shifting, maybe walking your hands to the right and walking your hands to the left side. And then coming back up on your knees first, and then we'll roll onto the toes, downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Breathe, soften. So we'll take our right leg. We're going to activate that core. We're going to take three taps. So we'll lift our right leg, and we're going to touch our knee to our right elbow. Inhale, lengthen. You can skip these if they don't serve you. Exhale, touching your nose. Inhale, lengthen, cross connect. So right knee to left elbow. Inhale, lengthen. And then take that leg maybe a couple steps or maybe lunge it all the way. Walk that right foot out towards the right hand. We're coming to warrior one. Anchor the back heel down. Inhale, rise up. So hips are square to the front. Breathe. 
and then exhale, take your left under your right, we're coming to eagle arms. You can just put, put in prayer pose if you don't want to cross under, but left under right, inhale, look up, lengthen, and then humble warrior, diving your arms and your head down inside that right knee, letting your head go, softening, perhaps closing your eyes, breathing, spreading your shoulder blades, relaxing your shoulders, humble warrior, such a great pose. And then inhale, coming up all the way. We'll unwind and find our warrior two. So spreading those arms, taking a look, lengthening, and noticing your heel and arch to be aligned. Your toe is pointing forward. You see your toe, your knee is not blocking. And then reverse your warrior, so tip it back. Breathe. And now bring your forearm down to your right thigh, find your side angle. First, lengthen your arm, looking up at the sky. And then reaching it all the way over, extended side angle. You can bring your arm down a little bit more, keeping it right on the thigh is just fine. And open up your heart towards the sky a little bit more. And then exhale. Coming all the way down, rolling onto that ball of the foot, coming back to that runner's lunge, and then pushing your foot back. Now we're going to try three push-ups right here, our chaturangas. You can come on your knees or you stay right on your toes, your choice. So here we go. Just halfway down, just a little lift. Gaze is right in front. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, going down. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, going down. Inhale, going up. We have one more, just one more. Exhale, going down. Inhale, going all the way up. So in plank pose right here with me. Lift your hips high to the sky. Pedal it out. Breathe. Close your eyes. And then we'll take our second side. So lift your left leg. And then we'll take our three taps. So we'll take our left knee to left elbow, shifting that weight forward. Inhaling, lengthening it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Drawing that core strength, yes. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, cross connect. Exhale, lengthen, and then coming, looking at those hands, taking a few steps to get there, putting that left leg, walking it out towards the side of the mat, anchoring the right heel down, shifting those hips towards the front, inhaling, warrior one, breathing, softening your shoulders, closing your eyes a moment, and we'll come to those eagle arms or just right in a prayer position, but we'll take our right and go under our left, lengthen, looking up, and then become humble. Letting go, surrendering to love, to hope, breathing, letting your head release, closing your eyes perhaps, and then unwind and come into your warrior two. So walk your heel, align it with that arch. Notice you see your big toe, looking back at that back arm, lifting it maybe a little bit higher. Really being strong with that energy right here, warrior two. Breathing, gazes out towards that middle finger. And then we'll tip it back for peaceful warrior. Feeling it here, looking up, lengthening. And we'll come to side angle, so taking that left forearm down to that left thigh. We'll look up, side angle pose. Getting ready to extend it over, we'll follow our gaze with our hand. Open up your heart more to the sky. You can shift your body down towards the mat or stay right here. But breathe. And then take it all the way down to the mat. And Find that runner's lunge coming on the ball of the foot. And then we'll put our foot back to meet the other. Taking a moment. 
We'll take another flow together, putting your third eye down, shifting in child's pose, roll, massaging that third eye, the middle of the forehead. And then coming up through the knees and then rolling over those toes, finding a breath again, breathing. So we're going to come into a warrior two. So we'll take our right leg and we're just going to take a peek and we're going to take a step towards the hands and we're going to um, let our heel go down. Find their, our position, hips are to the side, lengthen those arms, warrior two. And we'll come to peaceful warrior, so we'll tip it back, paint the sky. And from here, we're gonna prepare for triangle. So straighten that knee. And find both knees and to be straight. Maybe a slight bend, looking up, feeling this here. And then we're going to lengthen towards the front as we reach, reach, reach. And then we fall down, flat as a pancake, for triangle pose right here. Looking up at the sky. And then bring the arm down, all the way down, frame the foot. We'll take it on the other side. So coming right here, plank position. This time we're going to try to take our right leg foot out and then our left. Our right goes out and our left. One more on each side, draw in that core. Right goes out, the left goes out. Nice. Maybe you want to take your vinyasa going down, chaturanga, upward facing dog to downward dog. Or if you're with me, right to downward facing dog. We'll take it on our left side. So lifting that, looking at that left foot, taking a peek to where you're going, bringing the foot in between the hands. Anchor down that heel, open it up, warrior two. Breathe. And then we'll tip it back, peaceful warrior. Straighten that front leg, getting ready for triangle as we extend that hip long, reaching, reaching, reaching and then falling down, finding your triangle pose, flat as a pancake, looking up, breathing. Or you can be looking down at that foot, but breathe, triangle pose. And then we'll unwind it, let it go. We're gonna do the same flow, we're gonna add a half moon for this next one. So, I have a block with me, you could use a block or a chair to balance yourself or perhaps a wall. So you choose your what you need just to bring a little lift. And we'll take this again. So find me, find yourself back in plank pose. And we'll come down and do a vinyasa. So we'll do knees, chest, and chin. We'll come up and we'll roll our tops of our feet up and we'll push up, upward facing dog. Roll over those toes, downward facing dog. Taking our right leg, we're going to look and we'll bring it up. Find your warrior two. Inhale, lengthen. Breathe. Tip it back with peaceful warrior. Breathing, breathing. And then straightening, straightening that front leg. We'll tip it back still, side archer. And then reach long and forward. Reach, reach, reach. And then coming down, triangle pose. Breathe. Soften. So this is where we're going to go to half moon. So we're going to bend our front knee, bring our left hand to our hip. You have your block out in front. And then you'll open up your hips and lift that leg. Dorsal flex the back, dorsal flex the back foot. So flex it. Opening up your hips, stacking your hips upon each other, lifting that arm up now. Maybe looking up towards that hand in the sky for a deeper twist. Where your eyes go, your body will twist deeper. Half moon. And then looking back down at the ground, bring your hands down to your block or down to the floor. Square your hips to the mat. 
Let your head hang. Find your standing splits here. And then let your leg go all the way down and bring that front knee back to meet your left. And we'll come to our knees, chest, and chin up, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. We'll take it on our second side, pedal it out. Lifting that left leg high to the sky to take a look and putting it in between those hands. Anchor down the back, right heel. Open up, warrior two. Find your peaceful warrior, paint the sky. And straighten that front leg, maybe shorten your stance a bit. Really feel the length right here. And then reaching it straight out in front, lengthen and then fall down, triangle pose. Breathing, knowing we're going to half moon next. So we'll take our right hand, we'll look at our left foot in front. We'll take a step, find your block or your support. Open up your hips, really open. Flex that foot so your dorsiflex. Lift the arm up, breathe. Perhaps you can look up towards the sky Find the deeper hip open or the deeper twist. Knowing if you fall, you get stronger. It is very hard to look up. And then as you're ready, slowly rotate the hips now. Bring the hand down to the mat or to the block and let your head hang. Standing splits. And then your foot will go down. Your other leg will meet your foot. Bring your knees down to the mat wide, coming to child's pose. Shifting perhaps in your hips. back up. We'll take a little hop, not a hop, but a step, and we'll root down. So sweep the floor, rising up, and then exhale. Widen your feet. We're going to come to a yogi squat. So we'll come all the way down as we exhale in yogi squat, and we'll inhale, come up. Exhale, coming down yogi squat. Put your weight in your heels. Inhale, moving slowly. Exhale, coming all the way to yogi squat. And now we'll take a version of a crow. So you can bring your knees up towards your armpits and just stay right here, let your head hang. Or maybe if you've had this in your practice, you can try with your knees anchored on those upper forearms, you can lift one leg. And then the other, just a little shift. Maybe you feel that point where you're supporting your body as you lift one foot and then the other. Just find this, or you're just staying here, letting your head be upside down. Or maybe you put both up and find a moment of balance. My block is right here if I wanted to rest. My head right here. This is another way. You can put a pillow and practice this. Letting your foot go down gently, slowly, and then coming slowly, slowly, one vertebrae at a time, all the way down to the mat. And then letting your cactus arms go to the side and windshield wipering your knees from side to side. Softening your jaw, relaxing the center of your forehead, the space between your eyebrows, and closing your eyes. And now we'll just leave our knees going to the left. Place that left hand on the right thigh and look to your right. Finding a spinal twist here. And then coming up. 
up through the middle and letting your left side look towards your left. Put your right hand on your left thigh, finding this deeper spinal twist right here. And then coming up through the middle, take your feet, your feet together, make them kiss, coming into a butterfly down angle pose where your arms can open up, spread them wide with your hands, feel the cold floor underneath you, maybe the carpet, but let your feet just kiss a moment, thinking about the hope that we have. The love that we have. Our arms are spread open, waiting for the day we can physically connect with our friends and our family that are far away that we can't see right now. But waking up in gratitude. And then gently making your way to your right side rolling to your side, still with your eyes closed, and then gently, gently, slowly, softly, keeping your eyes closed and coming up to that meditation pose where we began, lengthening your back, relaxing your shoulders, letting the crown of your head go up towards the sky. We'll take an inhale, we'll rise our arms all the way up, and then bring them into that prayer position at the top. And we'll exhale, bringing our thumbs to our forehead, being mindful of our thoughts, thoughts of hope and love. And then to our mouth, loving words, kind actions. And then to our heart, remembering to start the day with you, Offer your love and gratitude, your affirmations, and bowing down your chin. And as you go, remember to find the time for deep rest, meditation, good nutrition, and movement. Namaste.